Maverica. Welcome to a new episode of Let's Talk Taino. I'm Priscilla Colon, co-founder and creative here at Casa Reito, where mission is to promote the Taino language and culture. So recently, I was at a language conference and I got to participate in an activity that I want to share with you today. So I'm going to talk to you first about the activity. This is something that you can do with friends, with other community members studying the language, or even by yourself. This activity is called Picture Talk. You start out with a picture, and you can do this with a partner or by yourself. You set the timer to 30 seconds or even a minute, and then you take turns describing the picture in Taino. When you're done, you count the number of sentences that you came up with. Now I'm going to show you how this activity works. I'm going to take a picture and just quickly describe it. But I have a little twist. I'm going to challenge you by asking you some comprehension questions. And by the way, I'm not going to give you the translations to the Taino. I think you can do it though, because you've been following along with many of these episodes. So are you ready? I am super excited for this one. So I'm going to get started with picture talk. Okay, I see the picture. Now I'm going to describe it. Duck era hek gualiche. Tuk eka hibiria. Tuk aiwa hibiria. Gualiche toka chali. That wasn't so bad, right? four sentences from that picture. Now, are you ready for the comprehension questions? If you're not, don't worry, pause the video, go back and listen one more time, and then you can go to the questions. So let's get started with some questions. The first question is, did I describe the number of people I see? And the possible answers are, yes, I said one, no, I didn't say a number, or no, I didn't describe anyone. So how do we go about answering that comprehension question? I'm going to take you through a series of strategies that you can use. The first thing we want to do is go back to our text and find out if we see a number, any number at all. So let's do that first and then we'll be able to answer the question. So let's go back to our text. Do we see any numbers in any of these sentences? Correct, there is a number in the very first sentence, and the number is heck. And if we look at the word that immediately follows, it says gualiche. Do you remember what gualiche means? That's right, it means girl. So we have the answer. Let's go back to our comprehension question. So our answer is, yes, I said one because I said heck gualiche, one girl. Not bad, right? Are you ready for the second question? Okay, comprehension question number two is, in this text, what does hibiria mean? And my choices are the girl, the watermelon, or the dress. Okay, we're going to implement strategy number two. We're going to look at every place where hibiria appears and try to guess the meaning from context clues. So back at my text, let's underline hibiria. Okay, I found it in two spots, the second and the third sentence. What if I don't know what hibiria means? I can look at the words around it to figure out its meaning. Let's look at the words that appear directly in front of hibiria. Those are two verbs, eka and aiwa. Those verbs give me a clue. Eka means to eat, and aiwa means to like. And if I look at the picture, the girl is eating, right? What is she eating? Well, the picture shows the girl is eating a watermelon. 
So now I know what the answer is. The answer is B, the watermelon. Now let's look at the final comprehension question. How does the girl feel? So I'm gonna do something really mean today. I'm not gonna give you the answer. As homework, I want you to go back to the text and look for any word that describes feelings. And then you can write your answer in the comments below. If you want to do a bonus activity, you can translate the full text and put it in the comments. Here it is one last time for you to take a look at. And if you want more resources to help you translate this text, you can look at our previous episodes where we cover every single one of the words that I used. Tune in to next week's episode where I will provide the answer to the last comprehension question and the bonus activity. I hope that you enjoyed this exercise. It's brand new, something that I'm trying out with you, and I hope that it gets you to talk more in Taino, to use everything that you have learned so far to describe things. You can work with a partner, even by yourself. The goal is to continue practicing, and I know together we can do it. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to continue the conversation. And to see all of our resources, please click the link to our link tree below. We have amazing projects coming up for the Taino community, a huge event. The first time that we're going to have linguists, archaeologists, and so many others sharing information together. To stay in the know, follow at Taino Conference or visit the website tainoconference.org. In the meantime, Taikaraya Guaitiao Nagu. Thank you.